Hey there, this is Katie with Locust Street Cottage. Welcome back to another episode of Rabbit Research and Review. We are going to continue our book review of this fabulous book, What Why Does My Rabbit by our friend Anne McBride. And you can find more information about Anne in the description below. If you recall, during our first episode, we talked about the history of rabbits. And then in our second episode, we talked about their behavior. In episode three, we're going to continue to talk about behavior, but we're only really going to cover two different behaviors this time. We're going to cover alertness and we're going to cover digging. Let's get started. Our friend Ann here says that rabbits spend most of their waking hours underground during the day. And that is interesting to me because I expected my bunnies to be up during the day to play with me. Um, but I've seen, now that I'm paying attention, that rabbits do like to come out at night, which makes sense because they don't want to get eaten. And as we covered before in episode two, there are a myriad of animals that would love to eat them from aerial predators, land predators, and even predators that'll go into their own little burrows and try to snatch them up. Something that was interesting to me that I found was that there is a purpose for the rabbit's split lip. And the way Anne describes this in the book is that it causes um, the smells to pass their lip there and get, gain a little moisture. And then the smells are more potent in their nostrils, so it improves their ability to smell. And she equates this with humans when we go out in the morning and there's dew on the ground or in the evening when there's dew, how the flowers smell stronger. Um, she talks about rabbits and their behavior with regards to how often they sit up on their hind quarters and they look at the landscape and they're uh, being alert to any predators in the area. She said that in her research that she found rabbits spent about 12% of their time up on their hind legs, which is so wonderful for us humans because it's so adorable. They spend an additional 60% of their time sitting down or laying down. So as much as we see these bunnies moving around so much, and I do as I watch the bunny cam, they're really kind of lazy little creatures, not unlike humans, I suppose. Now let's move to digging. So Anne tells us that the main reason that rabbits dig is to create their little homes and their little burrows and their war warrens, which we knew. Um, warrens are an intricate ne network of tunnels if we allow them to um, exercise that. Underground burrows are usually only about six inches across. They're tiny little things which makes me feel better about my tunnels that I'm building outside because those I bought eight inch pipe and I wasn't sure, uh, but now I know, okay, those, that'd be plenty. Even fat bunnies can go through there. She said bunnies will put in little waylays where they can pass each other that are about 16 inches across because I guess they can't pass each other in a six inch burrow, which makes sense. Warrens can cover up to 120 square yards and have 50 exits and entrances. That is huge. No wonder bunnies can do such great damage to our gardens. There is a difference in the types of holes that bunnies dig. So there are exit and entrance holes which kind of slope down nice and calm and usually that's the type of uh, hole that we encounter um, you know, maybe we'll break through that really thin layer at the top of the hole and that in, allows them to get in really quick. They also have something in called bolt holes and these are holes that go from the burrow straight up 18 inches so that if a weasel or another predator had come into their burrow, they could run to one of these bolt holes and jump up straight out into the, usually a thicket is what she says, and the weasel is not able to make that type of jump. She said that in the wild, adult uh, females that are breeding, the lower ranking females have to build their nests away from the warren, and the best burrows and the best nesting places are for the higher ranking females. Rabbits also dig shallow depressions in the area nearby, usually on a higher level 
um, the highest level of their warren, and they use this to show occupation of the area to let other bunnies know not to come around because there's already a war in there that exists. She says that bunnies will go and defecate there to show kind of mark their territory. I thought that was really interesting. So there are still lots of behaviors to cover in this book. So I'm excited for our next episode to share those with you. Um, I'm learning so much and I'm really, um, excited to be reading this book. Anne McBride is an expert in her field. So anyways, thanks for joining me here on at Locust Street Cottage. And if you like what you saw, you can subscribe there and you can watch more bunny videos there. And we'll see you next time.